Yeah, sorry if I repeat myself. I certainly don't keep track of what I say, what my thoughts are. Just popped in my head. Talked to Stacy the other day. Um, Mom is not putting up a Christmas tree this year. I think mostly because she's not having the big party where she'd decorate everything, put a little bow around all of her 500 bird figurines and stuff. And, you know, uh, most of it was just to show off, you know, look at what we have, this so beautiful house. Our facade, but she's not doing the party this year, and she she always again she hates holidays. She gets stressed out and always stressed me out. But it's <laughs> most likely going to be Dad's last Christmas, assuming that he makes it to Christmas. And that's kind of a sad thought, but it, to me it's not a reason to not celebrate it. It's a reason to celebrate it. But, uh, I don't know, it'll be different. Stacy will be there again, which is a nice thing. I'm going to try and get down there again this spring. Uh, see how long Dad stays as good as, he, as he's been. He's again, hasn't changed much, which is good because he was declining so rapidly. Uh, I do. Yeah, I know I talked about Christmas before. The holidays and the, the BS that goes along with that. Oh, well. Right now we're just enjoying the weather. I think we are going to have a high of 23 today, maybe. It's always windy out on the west end. But that is the time of year. Kind of waiting for my clutch cable or however that stuff works. I don't know how it works in my car. Clutch plate. Got to go one of these days. If it does go, I'll have a truck I can drive, or I'll just ride my bicycle and lose some weight. I don't mind riding if it's cold out. But I won't ride if it's snowy out. Red light, I just go right through this sucker. Sure wish I could afford a sign to go up there. I spent like four grand on a sign for my practice in uh, Loves Park, Illinois. And then I had that issue. Again, I called my business Alpine Family Chiropractic because it was on Alpine Street. And that was a chiropractic for families. And then a guy who, how did that go? He was a chiropractor in Rockford, so a totally different city. And I think he might have called his Alpine Chiropractic um, totally different Alpine Chiropractic and Alpine Family Chiropractic, two totally different names. But he wanted to sue me because our names are too similar and I certainly couldn't afford a, a lawyer. So I dismantled the sign and turned Alpine, reconfigured it into Align, A-L-I-N-E, and changed my business name to that. But when we came to Dubuque, I was trying to sell my practice and I almost had it sold, I thought. I brought my sign with me because I didn't sell it and 
had a new name here, InBody. Dismantled the Alpine and actually gave letters to Allison, where she, or I could actually spell her name A L L I E. And uh, I have the word chiropractic, but she doesn't want that up here. So if I'm going to put something up, it'll be on that post. Be a non-lighted sign, but it still probably cost me a thousand bucks to get a stupid panel, two-sided panel made. Ridiculous. All right, time to go in and do something.